The Lair of the White Worm, 1988, directed by Ken Russell, starring Hugh Grant, Peter Capaldi, and Amanda Donahoe. A small English town comes under a threat of biblical proportions when an archaeologist unearths the skull of an ancient serpent. This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. Hugh Grant is in this movie, which feels really weird to say. Not only was he in a horror film, but he's in a horror film featured on my channel. If you ever wanted to see Hugh Grant cut a demonic snake woman in half with a giant sword, here you go. The cast delivers some seriously strong performances in this film, with Grant and Capaldi working well off each other as the leads, and Donahoe playing a delightfully wicked ancient priestess. Russell loosely adapted the script of this film based on what many consider the worst novel Bram Stoker ever wrote. This film has serious after-midnight channel surfing vibes. While watching it, I half-expected drowsy commercials for Chia Pets and auto insurance to air. There's some pretty decent effects work in this film as well, including some pretty surreal dream sequences and even a giant monster in the film's climax. This film has a shocking number of connections to Doctor Who. Peter Capaldi played the 12th incarnation of the Doctor in The Revival. Hugh Grant played a 12th incarnation of the Doctor many years before that in the comic relief segment The Curse of Fatal Death. Stratford Johns played the villainous monarch in the old series Doctor Who serial Ford Doomsday. Amanda Donahoe, while never in the series itself, shares more than a passing resemblance to Janet Fielding, who played old series companion Tegan Jovanka. Coincidentally, her character was possessed by an ancient entity that took the form of a giant snake in the serials Kinda and Snake Dance. You don't have to be a Doctor Who fan to enjoy this film, though. It's wonderfully cheeky and weird on its own. Verdict recommended. A devilishly entertaining horror comedy. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.